Uh, I'm joined now by the MP for that for the constituency that Albert is in, Stephen Kinnick, Labour Stephen Kinnick, and the Conservative Glyn Davis. Thank you both for joining me. Right. Stephen Kinnick, uh, we've just seen and heard your constituents saying that, uh, who by and large voted Leave, they just want to get on with it. Is that a message that you're listening to? Absolutely. I think we've got to leave the European Union. The uh, trick is to do it in a way that doesn't wreck the jobs and the livelihoods of my constituents. I think there's a way to do that, which we're calling Common Market 2.0, staying in the single market, having a form of customs union, keeping that strong, productive market relationship, but coming out of all the political institutions, out of the political project. I suppose the political question to you then is, as a Labour politician that wants to leave, shouldn't you be doing the constructive thing and supporting the Prime Minister's deal now? The problem with the Prime Minister's deal is that it was a massive leap of faith. No clarity at all in the political declaration on the future relationship. I don't think it's right to spend £39 billion of taxpayers' money on a leap of faith. So we need something with teeth, with meaning, uh, and that's the amendment and the renegotiation and rewriting of the political declaration that we're trying to achieve. Glyn Davis, it seems some of your uh, par fellow party members are not listening to the message of the constituents. They're not getting on with it. Well, um, the Prime Minister is doing her best to get on with it. I mean, I've supported the withdrawal agreement from the beginning, but I think the message that I... I take and indeed what I feel is that we new need to come to a conclusion. Now it may not be a conclusion that I entirely agreed with. I didn't entirely agree with the withdrawal agreement. But we do need to have a conclusion which we can bring some certainty to business to those creating employment because it's the uncertainty that's worse than anything else. Are we going to get any certainty tonight as a result um, of this no deal no to no deal vote? I think it's it, complicated even just talking about it. It is. Uh, but I, I think it's um, there'll be a degree of certainty and there'll be votes. It'll be expressing the view of the House. How are you going to vote? Then? I'm going to vote in favour of keeping no deal on the table, but you know very well I'm not in favour of no deal. I think it's a big mistake. So, so why, why, why vote Well, it's then? a negotiating... We're in negotiations. To take a, a key part of negotiations off the table during the negotiations it doesn't seem to me to be very wise. But I don't... I think that's a... The, the point is that the House is going to show its view and there'll be a clarity that it's not prepared to support any sort of no deal. So we'll move very quickly on then to what sort of a deal we're going to agree to. And I take it, Stephen Kinnock, you'll be voting um, to say no to a no deal, um, even though, as Glyn Davis says, that's a, a useful negotiating tactic for the Prime Minister. The problem is it's never been a useful negotiating tactic. It's like going into a negotiation saying, if you don't give me what I, what I want, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. Uh, the, everybody knows that no deal massively damaging to the UK it would do some damage well, to the European there, Union but far less there is another so view though was never a negotiation there is another tactic. view that no deal is not necessarily no deal it's a load of uh, different deals there's WTO rules and that although there may be some disruption that Britain would uh, get on with it in the, in the long term uh, well my uh, understanding of no deal has always been on the 29th of March you leave with no deal no association with the EU whatsoever that destroys uh, the car industry in the United Kingdom, has a massive impact on the agricultural industry. Uh, you destroy the car industry, you destroy the, destroy the steelworks in my Port Albert constituency. I cannot support that. Uh, Glyn Davis, is Brexit going to be delayed? Um, or or well, Actually, I think you said this morning something along the lines that you, you think Brexit might not happen at But it all. might not. I mean, I think it's a danger it might not. But uh, it Why? Would be, it, well, because of all this uncertainty? Yeah, I, I just think once you start the delay, unless it's delayed for a specific purpose, where we, where we must get to, if, if there is a delay, and that will be part of tomorrow's debate, if it's for a purpose, then I think it's acceptable. But if it's just a delay because we can't come to an agreement and we might do in two or three months' time, I don't think that's acceptable. Thank you both very much for that. Uh